Cuisine Korea, a journey searching for delicious taste. This time we visited Changchun Garden, a traditional Korean restaurant still maintaining Korea's past customs. We invite you to enjoy its taste and style. Indian restaurant Ganga filled with unique tastes of spices. Come and feel the special taste available in this place of Indian style, Cuisine Korea. Shall we set out once again on another adventure of taste? At a time when the utility system wasn't developed yet, people had to pump their water from underground. But when they didn't use the pump for a long period of time, no matter how hard they pumped, no water came out. That's not because there wasn't any more water, but because the pump had dried up. To solve this problem, all you had to do was pour a bucket of water down the pump and voila, fresh water. In everyday living, we need little tricks and wisdom such as this. Cuisine Korea, traveling to a world of delicious taste. And I'll share with you some wisdom for satisfying the palate. Shall we start? Changchun Garden with its beautiful traditional Korean house is located in Pangwadong. From Pangwa Station, go straight toward the 6th apartment complex. When you see Samjung Elementary School, turn left and go further for about 30 meters and you'll see the restaurant. This place where you can get a glimpse of Korea's past is the Korean restaurant Changchun Garden. It has maintained the original form of a nobleman's house. When you enter, a large front garden will greet you. Located at the foot of the mountain, the restaurant is cozy and warm. When you enter, you can get a strong sense of how old the house is. Each grain of wood seemed to be engraved with the detailed care of the past artisans. To experience traditional Korean dishes in this place of graceful traditional beauty, just thinking about it makes me feel better. The garden scene from the window is filled with the fragrance of nature. I wonder what sort of specialties are featured in this restaurant. Oh, Creating food while always thinking about the preferences of the customers. The tables are always served with dishes made with great care. They look beautiful also. I wonder what it feels to fill your mouth with these tasty dishes. I'll meet some of the customers and hear what they have to say. Wondering what we're cooking up today? The first dish is a unique dish and it's... And the second dish is a meat dish. Here's our chef who will be showing us how to prepare the menus for today's Let's Cook. You'll see true art created with these hands. 요리는 탕평채인데요. 이름이 참 특이하네요. 예, 이 탕평채라는 요리는 조선 시대 때 나라의 혼란을 막기 위해서 탕평책이라는 정책을 썼는데 그 논한 자리에 처음으로 상에 이 요리가 올랐거든요. 그래서 그 탕평책이라고 붙여서 이 요리의 이름을 탕평채라고 정하였습니다. 
I'm curious to know how this dish will turn out, so let's begin. These are the ingredients needed for tangpyeongche. The fresh mug bean jelly is the main ingredient, and others will add to its taste and style. The jelly is cut into thin slices. It needs to be kept in the refrigerator for a day so that it won't be too wobbly and firm enough to be cut into thin pieces. Now we need to prepare ingredients that add color and taste to the mug bean jelly. Cut into suitable sizes and place them on a plate. Among the cut ingredients, the carrot is fried first. Season with salt and fry lightly to keep the crunchy taste. Dropworts need to be boiled lightly and then fried to keep its fragrance and taste. Season with salt. Beef will add to the savory taste of the jelly. The meat is cooked carefully, both front and back. They are also cut into thin slices and placed on the plate. Lovely colors, aren't they? <music> Lastly, mug bean jelly is boiled lightly. The transparent color looks really pretty. Now that all the preparation has been done, we'll get on with making the dish. Place the transparent jelly in a large dish and add different colored garnishes. Now that it has been decorated colorfully, sesame oil, salt, and the like are added to season. Finish off with sesame seeds. Now all you have to do is mix everything well. It's important to do this with care. I think the cook's experience can be felt here. Set the mixed tangpyeong te nicely and it's complete. These are the ingredients for the second dish, beef chapsalgui. Fresh beef is the main ingredient, and sticky rice powder and others are also needed. Shall we prepare the meat first? The tenderloin is cut into thin slices. The meat is dipped in sticky rice powder, which will add to the chewy taste. Fully cover the front and back portion of the meat with rice powder. Lightly season the beef with black pepper and salt. This way we can enjoy the original taste of the meat. The meat is then cooked in a preheated pan. Just looking at them makes my mouth water. While the meat cooks, large spring onion and sesame leaves are prepared. They are cut into thin slices and this way their fragrance becomes even stronger. Now we'll make the sauce that adds to the taste of the beef chapsalgui. Remember carefully, add vinegar, mustard, sugar and sesame oil and mix everything thoroughly. Everything is ready now. When the meat has cooked sufficiently, place them on a plate. Spread the sauce that has just been made evenly over the meat. Finally, place chopped spring onions and sesame leaves decoratively at the center of the meat. And this completes the dish. This is the first time I've heard of these dishes, so I'm very eager to try them. Mm. There's definitely the presence of the roasty sesame oil. That's very satisfying. Now for my second dish. Mmm. 
It's very chewy. Mm. And the texture of the beef has become even more tender with the addition of the sticky rice. And the sweet and sour sauce goes very well with the meat. Very good. Now we'll start a journey into more diverse tastes. The delicacies of Changchun Garden have been gathered here, so let's take a look. This is a menu that harmonizes savory mushrooms with sweet sauce. Looks great, doesn't it? This is a menu recognized for its sharp taste. What makes this dish popular is its chewy jellyfish. The savory meat and the spicy taste harmonized together will stimulate the appetite. A menu that fills the mouth with light-tasting patties. The diverse ingredients make this dish richer. Looks delicious, doesn't it? The spicy and sweet taste is the pride of this dish. It's a menu live with unique taste. The diverse taste of tender meat. Why don't you enjoy them? This is a dish known for its savory soup. What did you think about these delicacies? It certainly is a table full that lets you feel the care of the restaurant. Did you know chocolate contains properties that are good for the body? First, there's caffeine that can lighten up the mood. Second, the sweetness of the chocolate can relieve tiredness and stabilize the mind. Two more reasons to love chocolate and with a little less guilt. Come with me to enjoy more of that sweetness. Looks good, tastes good. Can't you feel the fragrant smell right from the entrance? This is the place where you can enjoy cakes and teas together. This is the place for fusion cakes. Shall we try some of that sweet attraction? Goguma cake is goguma and sandcream and uyo and keran. It's called Korean style cake. But it's not soft and soft. 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 Then why don't we try a hand in making this sweet potato cake? The steamed sweet potato is the main ingredient. Here, smooth vanilla extract, butter, and fragrant cinnamon powder are added. Next, they are mashed in the blender. Fresh cream is added to enhance its smoothness. Fresh milk is added and mixed. This makes sweet custard, which is also added to the mixer. Now everything will become sweeter and smoother. Now shall we prepare some fragrant syrup? Pour water to sugar and boil. The boiling time should be controlled carefully. Separate the egg yolk and beat it separately. Continue beating and then add the boiled syrup. Mix until the color of the egg yolk becomes faint. The smooth sweet potato and sweet syrup are ready, right? The prepared ingredients are mixed together. Now a bowl of smooth fresh cream is added. Mix everything carefully. Place a generous amount of prepared ingredients over tender castella. Spread evenly over the bread and cover with another piece. Create several layers in this way. Now, shall we decorate the cake? Decorate with tempting chocolates and the sweet potato cake is complete. Did you notice the detailed touch of the cook? There are so many sweet temptations and a cup of tea will go nicely with these diverse cakes. I think it would be nice to take some leisurely time off like this. Enjoying the beauty of cooking and the sweetness of tasting. I had a nice time and I hope you did too. journey into a world of great taste.
When seasons change, it's easy to catch a cold, but you can prevent it with a proper diet. When you have a cold, though, you should drink lots of liquids and eat lots of warm food. Now, it's time to go and find today's restaurant. Ganga is a place filled with the nostalgia of India. To reach there, you must go to Yoksam subway station. At the first basement floor of Star Tower that is linked to the station, you will find Kanga quite easily. Why don't you join me in this place where you can feel the fragrant smell of India? Suited to the name Ganga, there is a fountain at the entrance. Oh, the is very Yeah, now it's time to experience the authentic taste of the Indian cuisine. Traditional Indian bread baked in tandoor. I think I can feel its savory taste. This is rice cooked with saffron and butter. It is popular for its smooth taste. Barbecue tuna with the strong fragrance of adwan, a spicy Indian seasoning. A tender chicken curry made with fresh tomato, sweet cream and herbs. Chicken legs barbecued in charcoal after being marinated in cheese, cream, and light spices. These are drinks that go well with Indian food. The food will taste even better with the drinks. This is a menu that harmonizes the refreshing taste of saffron cream and the warmth of kalab jamun, a traditional Indian dessert. These are the delicacies of Ganga maintaining the traditional taste of India. They certainly let us feel the original fragrance of India. The decorative entrance welcomes the customers first. Even at a glance, we see that the interior is filled with an exotic atmosphere. We can tell that this is not an ordinary restaurant just by looking at its chairs and tables. The tables decorated with silver look even more sophisticated and they all have traditional designs of India. Indian artifacts decorating the walls strengthen the exotic atmosphere of this place. Perhaps that's why the interior looks even more grand. The coziness that you feel inside, it's even more attractive. Diverse Indian artifacts are on display around the restaurant, so you can enjoy the pleasures of the palate as well as of the eyes. They are all imported directly from India, which go to demonstrate the care of the people running the restaurant. There are so many special features here, but I think it's time for me to try a hand at cooking some special dishes of Ganga. I have to choose the menus that we will be trying at Enjoy Cooking. And the dishes I have selected are... I think that it's time for us now to go and meet the chef. Why don't you join me in visiting the world of art-like taste created by the chef from India? We are going to take a look at the ingredients needed for preparing our first dish, Malai Kofta. Fragrant spices are kneaded together with smooth cheese and other diverse ingredients. We are going to first fry the diverse ingredients together. Add smooth butter and then cheese and some refreshing white sauce. Next, other different ingredients are added. 
carefully fry the ingredients to maintain the fragrance of tomato sauce and spices. Enhance taste with smooth cream, so add cream and fry some more. Place the food on a warm plate and Malai kofta is complete. Enjoy cooking! The second dish we are introducing is tandoori chicken. First, a whole fresh chicken is needed. Different ingredients for adding taste are also prepared. First, we will make the yogurt that will be spread over the chicken. Careful attention must be paid to the ingredients and they are added one by one and mixed. The clean chicken needs to be seasoned lightly. Sprinkle just a little with seasoning. After seasoning, the yogurt prepared earlier is spread over the chicken. Spread all over to bring out an even taste. Next, the whole chicken is placed on a skewer. Now, we need to roast the chicken in tandoor. Turn frequently to cook the chicken evenly. Decorate with different vegetables and tandoori chicken is complete. It's now time to taste the food we made at Enjoy Cooking. I will go ahead and try them and tell you what it's like. Curry is the representative food of India and we have prepared Malai kofta today. Curry should always be eaten with lan or rice. So I am eating the curry with saffron chawal and savory lime. Ah, the smoothness fills up my mouth and the unique taste of spices is excellent. Next, I am going to try the tandoori chicken. Let me take a sip of mango lassi first and I'll continue. The chicken that has been marinated overnight in traditional Indian spices. It has been roasted in tandoor, so all the grease has come out. It's savory and nice and chewy. Especially the unique taste of the fragrant spices makes this dish all the more attractive. What do you think? These Indian dishes are really wonderful, quite beyond imagination. Now that we've enjoyed the fragrant delicacies of Ganga, were you able to feel the skills of the restaurant's Indian chef? The reason why this place is always bustling with customers is because it maintains the traditional taste of India. The customers find that they are unable to forget the fragrant taste of Indian food, so I thought it would be a good idea to hear what the customers thought about Ganga's diverse menus and tastes. If you think about it, leading a rich life can be quite simple. It can become more enjoyable if you have a good book to read or if you devote yourself to a new sport. Also, when meeting a friend, if you arrive 10 minutes earlier, I'm sure you feel a lot better. Not that difficult, don't you agree? Cuisine Korea, this is all for today, and I hope to see you again next time.